was thinking pea soup is a bit heavy for your, or a bit big for your hands, so you can go for something a little smaller if you like. But let's just start with a few breaths just to get centered. So take an inhale, and exhale. Good, bend your knees if you need to. Take an inhale, and exhale. Let's do a couple more. I can see you, Brenda, I'm watching you. And take an inhale, and exhale. And one more time. Now take the legs apart just a little bit. Leave the arms up and let's move into a small squat just to warm up. So you're going to take an inhale, exhale, whatever your breath pattern is that. And feel free to make sure that you're bending a little bit more than me, especially those of you who know that you can. I'm not quite there yet. That's it. Now let's do four. And two. Good. And last one. Now you're going to step back with the lunge. So step back. Make sure there's nothing behind you before you step back, guys. And then lunge it back and up. And lunge it back. So watch your alignment with your knee over the ankle. Step big, bigger than me. That's it. Don't take out the living room. And let's do four. And three. And two. And one. Now I'm going to do a small lunge forward. So as I do that, my arms are going to come back. Push off and arms come back and push off that foot and lunge big guys and push use that power of that leg to push off spring off that leg that's it and lunge good and let's do four and three and two now make sure that you've got room beside you guys because we're going to step side so you're going to step side with your arms out and back, and step side, and back, and back, good. Now let's have a little bit of rotation, so step side, and rotate, and step back to your center. Step wide, rotate, and back, and step side, and rotate, and back, good. Now let's do four more of those. Now rotate, and three, spiral. And two. And last one. Good. Just take it from there. Just into some arm circles, guys. So wide. You can have a little bend with the knees. Just warm it up. That's it. And then reverse. So circle it around. And circle around. Good. Let's do a couple more. And hold it there. Guess what time it is, guys? squat time. So feel free to use some weights if you want to in your hands. I'm not going to. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. So we're going to move first into just a parallel squat. So you're going to take a little squat back, get the weight back into your heels, press through the heels, and sit back. Feel free to go lower, guys, and sit. Good. Press through your heels. Use the glutes, use the hamstrings to lift, and squat. Good. And those of you who take my Women on Weights class know that. That would be you help. Is that we do a lot of squats in this class. That's it. Why? Because squats make the world go round, guys. That's it. Okay, let's do four. And three. And two. Now I want you to hold down. So hold it here. Hold it here. Just sit. Stay low. Just like when we were doing our wall squats. So watch your position. And then slowly back up. Good. Now we're going down for three this time. So you're going to go one, two, three. Now press up. And you're going down. Go one, two, three. Press up. And go one. Good. Tuck your guts in. Send your butt back. And up. And send it back. Three. And up. A couple more. And sit back. And press through. Now, good. Hold it here. Now we're going up for one. Go down for three. Press up. And then go down for three. Three. And press up. And down for three. Let's go two more. Press up. And down for three. And then one more time. And then hold it there. Last little set of pulses and pulse. Go easy on the knees. Get your weight back into your heels. And let's do four. And three. That's it. And two. 
And last one. Remember, you could do all those if you're at home with the ball. And a lot of the times in, in um, our classes, we just take the ball against the wall. So that would be an option in another time to take that ball behind you and use the wall. It helps you keep your chest lifted. But anyway, we'll leave it for now on that one. So from here, we're going to go into some lunges. Same thing, if I had, had my ball at home, I won't press on this so I can see. But if I had a wall, I could walk, go from here and press down using the wall from there. So that's an option for some, if you want to do that at home, while you're just hanging around. Otherwise, we're going to go into a lunge here. So get nice and wide with your lunge. Feel free if you need to hang on to something, guys. I don't know if you can see me now if I've gone out of range. And then you're just going to drop and up. So drop the knee down and drop. So I'm going to add some arms for balance and drop down. So make sure the alignment of your knee in the front is the knee tracking over the ankle. And go wherever you're comfortable, guys. Wherever you're comfortable. That's it. And draw. And press good. And press good. Nice. Let's and then do four. What's up? I know these are your favorite, Janice. And two. And then hold it here. So hold it here. Add a little pulses. If that's too much on your knees, come on out of here. And this will stay for eight and seven. Good. And go four. And three. And two. And then bring it up. I'll just switch around to the other side. Hopefully that makes it easier. Assume the position. So make sure that leg is back, and knee is tracking over the ankle, and then drop that knee down. I call this the Meghan Markle in Coraline, so you might be familiar with that one. Small curtsy. That's it. Now what you might know is, Janice, are you counting? You know I'm the worst counter in the world. So let's do four more. And three. And two. Last one. Now hold it there. Add those pulses, guys. Remember, get out of there if it's bugging your knees. And let's do four. And three. And two. And then bring it up. We're going to turn into, you probably did some with Danielle yesterday, so I was watching. So we're going to do a little ballet squats from here. So get a little bit more externally rotated than me. Now it's the same thing. We're not quite there yet, guys. So knees are going to track over the toes, and you're going to squat. And we're going to squat. So push up through the heels, lengthen through the legs, and press up. Oh my god, I just realized I can see myself. I'm looking at Linda's picture, and it's distracting me. That's it. And let's do four. And three. And two. Now hold down, guys. Hold it here. And add your pulses. So legs are wide. Knees are tracking over your second and third toe. That's it. And add small pulses. And pulse. And pulse. Now we're going to add a little alternating lift and lift. So you're going to lift the heels up and lift. And lift. Good. And lift. Get low, guys. I can see you. And lift. And lift. Good. And let's do four. And two. Good. Now stay on one leg, whatever leg that is, and add a pulse. And pulse. And pulse. And pulse. Here goes four. I'm counting, Janice. I'm going to four. And three. And two. Other side. It goes pulse. And pulse. And pulse. And pulse. And three. And two. Now here's the kicker. Here we go. And it goes lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Good. And here we go, four, and three, and two. Hold it here. Hold it here. Last one. Just drop the heels. Heels, heels. You guys still with me? Good. Go eight, seven, three. Two, and lower it down. Shake it out a little bit, guys. Hang on to that. Now, you might need your chair for this one. In fact, hang on to something with this. So I'm going to take a little hinge forward. So my hands are going to come up. 
I'm gonna take the leg back behind me. I'm gonna flex my foot. I'm gonna do a little lifts. We're bringing Jane Fonda back here. And lift. So not too high, guys. Flex the foot, press through your heel. And lift, and lift. Good. And let's do four. And three. And two. Now we're gonna push the ceiling away. So look down once you figure out what I'm doing. And then lift and lower. So look down, don't look at me. And lift up. Push the ceiling away with your foot. And push. And go four. And three. And two. Now bring that foot back and behind you a lot from here. And then from here, we're gonna go into a lunge. And then you're gonna lift and back into that lunge. And then lift. Back to that lunge, hold your belt. And lift. Hold your belt, leave nothing behind you. Four. And three. And a two. And last one, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, breathe. And then take that leg. I'm just gonna switch sides for this one, guys. And we'll head this way. So hang on to something, other leg. Flex the foot and lift. Try to keep the toe pointing down to the floor. And lift, use the glutes. And breathe, make sure your head, head is in good alignment. Don't look. Keep looking down at the floor. Nothing to see here, guys. And let's do four. And three. And two. Now, here goes that foot to the ceiling. Push your ceiling away. And push. And push. And push, good. And let's do four. And three and two, and one. Now step back, watch where you're stepping, guys. Get a nice lunge position, and then up we go, and back into your lunge. And up, and three. Four, two. That's about it, guys, five. And hold it here. Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. And then bring that leg down, and shake it all out. So we're, hello Emily, I nice see you. So now we're gonna go into the, a little bit of upper body here guys. So I'm gonna use, I can use um, a couple different bands here. I was improvising at home, and as stupid as it sounds, I actually used a shirt because I didn't have a ton of band, and I wrapped it around, and then I used the end of the sleeves to work like a band. So it looked really silly that nobody was looking. So you could choose to sit for this one, Maybe if you have a stability ball, you can use the stability. And I'll show you from a different angle. So we're going to go into some lap pull downs, which obviously, as the name says, works the lap muscles. So what I like to do is I like to, with my dining band, I just hook my, my thumbs in. So I'll stay on the stability ball, but feel free, you could stand, or you could sit in a chair, if that works better for you. And then we're going to go into a lap pull down. So you're going to start with the arms just above your head, you're gonna pull the elbows out to your side and you're gonna lower the band down just to about the sternal notch. So, that's it. So you're gonna go wide. Yeah. Did you ask Emily to mute? Did I ask Emily what? Ask Emily to mute. Oh, to mute? Oh. Up in the top corner where they'll come up Thanks, Janice. So as you pull down, I'll show you from the side as well. Keep on pulling, guys. <clears throat> but we're going to do, we're going to try to do 12 reps, but let me just show you how that, that this looks like. So as I'm pulling down, I'm lifting the chest up slightly. So there is a slight little bit of arc in my back. I'm bringing my elbows into my side. And those of you who take my classes know that we don't want to do any boinga boinga. So boinga boinga means that when I take the band out or up, it goes like that. That's boing a boing down. So we want to keep tension in the band. Use the back. Pull the elbows in. Lift the chest up. How many more? Four? Okay, four. And three. Good. Breathe. And two. And last one. Good. And then take a little break. Shake it out. So when I do my women in weights class, we don't wait a long time. Um, like we might if we were lifting really heavy weights in the gym. So we're just gonna carry on and we're gonna do another set of these guys. 
So now hopefully we've got a pattern going on. So find your, find your bound without the boinga boinga, draw the abs in, take your elbows out to your side, lift, that's it. Pull it out the bound wide, that's it, and breathe, and three. I'll try to go, guys, and four, and five, elbows out to your side, and six, good. Feel the back muscles, the lap muscles, and work the big muscles of the back. See how I lost count as soon as I start talking, guys. We'll say that's eight. You're going, oh my gosh, she's a bad counter. Nine. That's it. And 11. And then let's call that 12. Take the band down. Just take a little stretch to your neck, maybe your ear to your shoulder. And then we're going to go into upright row. So you'll need to grab your um, soup cans or whatever you've got for weights, guys. I'll do this one standing. So I've got my little weights in my hand here, my soup cans. I'm going to get a wide base of support. And then I'm going to take my arms down just in front of me. I'm going to pull the elbows out to the side and back. So pull out with the elbows and back. This isn't too complicated, but just watch that you're staying steady through the back, that we're not doing the gym wrap thing. With this, that's it. And pull out to the side. I see you, Janice. And five. And six. The elbows out to your side. Make sure your abs are tight. And eight. Nine, good. And 11. And 12. Same thing, take a little break. Maybe just take your ear to your shoulder. Watch for tension in the upper traps, right? We're trying to avoid that. So make sure that you're trying your best to keep that tension out of the neck. And here we go again. We're gonna do one more step. Set yourself up and then elbows up to your side. That's it. And two, good. Four, good. And five. So we did some pulling down. Now we're doing some pulling up. And seven, good. That's it. Don't laugh at my counting, guys. I can see you, Janice. And nine. And ten. And eleven. And twelve. Good. Cut. Now, you're just going to need one weight, or perhaps if you've got some really uh, light weights, you can do two. So we're gonna do a single arm row, which works the one side of the, the back and the lat muscles. So I'm just gonna put one down. Now this one I use, do a lot in my class. So you can either use something to support yourself, maybe a chair, maybe you're using the ball. I'm gonna set myself up. For those of you that have done this class with me before, we sometimes bring our knee up onto the ball, but I'll show you from here. So let's get the position right first. So you're gonna hinge from your hip. You're gonna take your hand onto some object. We're gonna take this arm with my soup can down, and I'm gonna pull the elbow up, so I'm coming to the outer edge of my pelvis, and then back down. So the elbow leads to the ceiling, my weight comes to the side of my hip bone, and back, my chest faces forward, that's it. And I pull back with my elbow up to the ceiling. That's it, good. Just keep your abs pulled in, keep a little bend in your knees. And eight, I think, and nine, and ten. So your the alignment of your head is just slightly forward and along through the neck. I hope that's what my looks like. Good. And let's do one more, wherever the heck we are, guys. And then we're just going to switch sides. So, ditto, same side, guys. So if you want to change it up, here's an option. Maybe that's yeah, I'm too. This is too easy. So now I'm going to add a lift, possibly. And two, good, so same movement, come up to the hip, maybe flex your foot, that's it. Keep looking down, keep the chest facing forward. That's it, and eight, and nine. That's it, and 11, and 12. Good, take a little break from that side, shake it out guys. And then switch your knee to the other side. I was just looking outside, it's absolutely pouring. I feel lucky you have something to do today. So you're gonna get into that position one more time. Same thing, guys. Pull the elbow up. There could be a little pause at the top there. That's it. Pull. And three. Keep your abs pulled in. That's it. Elbows up. 
and five, and six, and eight. Let's do two more guys, unless I'm totally off. And last one, swing it around to the other side. One more set, we're just doing two sets because I want to try to get through as much as I can today. So maybe my next option might be to put my foot up and then just come back to the hip. And two, pull that elbow up, take a little pause at the top. That's it. And five, good. How are you looking guys? And six. And eight. And ten. And eleven. And twelve. Good. Give it up from there. Now I was I'm gonna do some rowing, so if it would be convenient for you to hook it on the band um, just to a wall like I usually do, that would be the way to go. So you could disappear from it and do that. But if you don't have anything to hook this baby on, then I'm going to, uh oh, I'm losing my weights here, is that you're going to sit into your chair and it sort of attack of the band here. And then I'm going to wrap the band around my foot. So, but I'm coming. So if you have, if you don't have a, the, uh, anything to do that with, you might just want to pull back this way. Maybe you've got your soup cans in. I'm going to wrap around my foot so it doesn't come off. I'm going to flex my feet. And I'm going to roll. So the elbows are going to come out to the side on this one. I'm going to sit tall. So we've done this action with the lats, except now the elbows are going out to the side. That's it. Use that mid-back. Lift the chest. That's it. And five. Good. So you might have some different variations on this one. But I'm just going to start with the elbows out to the side. And eight. And 10, good. And 11. And let's go 12, good. Take a little break, and then we'll go into the second part of the row. So I like to change so that we're not always doing the same exercises with the same angles. In weight training, we really want to work with, with angles um, in different, different order. So now it looks like, and it is a similar exercise, but we're going to pull back this time. So open up the chest and shoulders, pull the elbows back. Try not to arch the back. That's it. And four. Good. Breathe. And five. And six. Seven. Keep pulling. And breathe in. And nine. Good. Watch for tension in the upper back. And eleven. And here we go with twelve. Good. And then just release yourself from your band. You're going to stand up, hang on to this baby for a second. We're just going to go back to, oh no, the dreaded squats, guys. So I'm just going to have a, a goal here with my, with my butt. So I'm going to go a little bit wider this time. And then I'm going to sit back and then press up through your heels. So sit back, same thing. Keep looking up, keep your head in line with your spine. And sit your butt back, just like you were going to sit on that chair, but it's not there. That's it. And push through the heels. And look good. Nice. Let's do four more. And go four. And three. And two. And last one. And now you're saying to yourself, what happened to the calf raises? Look at that. Here they come. So now, grab onto something. Try to practice your balance, guys, as best you can. But have something there just in case you need it. And then bring your feet into a parallel position. And you're going to lift. And lower. So if you don't need the arms, don't use them. Come up, try to stay even through the toes so you're not rolling to the outside of your foot or the inside. So lift from the top of your head, get long through the spine, and lift. If you wanted to add some arms, feel free to do that. Embellish. And lift. Good. And lift. Good. I've totally lost count, guys. Let's do four. What a surprise. And three. And two, and last one, good. Now, 
We're going to go on to a single leg. So sometimes I do this one in the class. I'll just show you quickly too. If you have the ball against the wall, you can do this at home and then just lift and lower. So you just want to press slightly in toward the ball. So it's just another variation on that. Now we're going to go to single leg. So you're just going to take one leg off. And we don't know why this is so hard, but it's just hard. And same thing, lift and lower. Straight leg, best you can. And four, that's it. Lift straight up. And six, good. That's it, breathe in. And eight. And nine, we're just going to do ten. They're hard. And then switch sides, guys. And then lift and lower. Good, straight up to the ceiling. Even through the feet. Knees are straight. That's it. And five. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Good. Just take both feet together, pretend they're in Pilates, and then just work through the feet. So roll through your feet. That's it. Just like your little feet are on the foot bar. And then just take a little stretch back. Lean into your chair. Don't push it away, guys. Make sure that your knee is tracking evenly and take a little stretch for the calves. And then just press back a little bit and take a little stretch for the hamstrings. Lengthen long, pull up, hip back. I don't know what leg you're on, so I won't say. And then just roll back up. Take the other leg back, take a little calf stretch, lean forward into that front leg. And now pull up, hip back, take a little stretch through the hamstrings. And then we're going to do a little bit of um, hamstrings. So those of you that have a ball, you, you probably know this exercise that took my class, because it's Janice's favorite exercise. So you would come down onto the floor, I hope you guys can see me, and you're going to take the ball so that your feet are underneath that, arms out to the side, you're going to lift, and then you're going to pull back and out. So you can lower each time, or you can stay up and pull that ball in and toward you. So those of you who have got a ball, do a couple sets of those. If you don't have a ball, I'm going to steal a little exercise from Pilates mat, but as a standing exercise. So we're going to face toward whatever you're hanging on to. And it's going to look like this. It's going to go flex, two, three, and change. So you're going to pull the heel towards your butt, and pull, two, three, and four, and pull, two, three, and four. Good. And pull, two, three, and four, and pull, two, Three, good. So feel that heel and the hamstrings working. If you're still on the floor with the ball, then keep on going and change. And pull, two, three, four, and pull, two, three, and four. I think I changed up to three to four, guys, whatever you're working on. And change and pull, two, three, and a couple more. Pull, two, three, one more time and pull, two, three. Then hang on to whatever it is you're hanging on to. Walk your feet back and just take a long stretch through the spine, guys. And then we're just going to roll it up. And while I've got you standing, we're just going to finish. So options for this one is I'm going to do a little bit of side leg lifts without lying down like Jane Fonda. So if you've got a band, here's your options. Is that you could take your feet into that band. I'm going to pull it up. Obviously, the higher I pull the band up, the harder this gets. So if you're going, oh my god, I can't move my leg, then you've got to have your hands down a little bit lower. And then I just want you to walk sideways, like I'm hanging and going sideways, and step, and step. Now, if that doesn't work for you, so keep on going if you're doing that one. If that one doesn't work for you, I want you to just come to hang on to something, and then you're going to stand tall, and we're going to just do side leg lifts. So, you might want to turn that foot in just a little bit, just sickle that foot in just a little bit. Try it without hanging on as best you can, guys. And lift. And lift. And lift. Good. And lift. Uh oh, you've got to count. Let's go six. And five. And four. I have to get one of those little truck counters next.
next time, guys. And let's go three, because clearly I can't count. And two, and last one. Let's switch to the other side. So, if you're still walking like a penguin, your other option, so keep going on your other side, guys. So your other option for you people with bands is that just stand and do it this way, and push, and push. It, it, you'll feel it real fast. And if you're still doing your little side leg lifts, I'm going to pretend you're at eight. Nobody knows you're at home. And 11 and 12. Good. Let's switch to the other side. We'll do one more set. So if you're still walking, another, another one, you could do a little push and a little push and a little push and a little push. You could even make a little whoopsie, little circles around with the leg. Otherwise, we're going back. I hope you guys are on your second side. And then lift a little turn in and lift the lower little medial hip for you because you're not here. That's it. And maybe three more. Something like that. And then a last side on this side here. So get tall. Try not to sink into that hip. Lift up. Lift them more. Softness in the knee. That's it. Oh boy. Six. Well, this is fun. And eight. And nine. And ten. And eleven. And 12, good. You're gonna sit, take a little stretch, guys. However you can do that, maybe cross over, take a little hinge for it. Still quite do, can't do that one yet, guys, but you can. Take a little stretch. And then you're gonna take a little switch your rear to your other side, wherever that looks for you. Just hinge forward from the hip, take the chest forward like you would lay right down onto your leg. And then while I got you there, we're gonna do a little bit of shoulders. So grab your soup cans again, and we're going to do a little bit of shoulder press. So hang on, I'll grab the bowl because I don't know if I'm on the screen or not. And we're going to start with shoulder press. So if shoulder press is not your thing, I like to call this putting your luggage in a luggage rack, but I think that has to be a wall to you doing that. So your first choice is to take the arms out to the side, and then you're going to press up. So I always visualize a little diamond shape with my arms as I'm pushing up. So I'm pushing up to the point of the, the triangle of the diamond and then coming back down. So your hands should be slightly forward, elbows come tracking out to your side and lift. Now, if that's not your thing, doing the luggage wrap, then work the same muscle group but with different exercise. So now you're just gonna lift the arms out to your side and lift, that's it. So watch you're not getting higher than your shoulders. There's no momentum, guys. It lifts. So think long to the legs, whichever one you're doing. Sorry, the arms. That's it. And sit tall. And let's do four. And three. And two. And last one. Or wherever you are on that one. And then just take a little break. I like to bring the feet together and do a little bit of calf raises from here. So you're going to lean forward onto your legs. Push down. And then lift. And lower, because you never have enough calf exercises. And let's do three. And four, so there's a little pressure down. And five, good. Six. And eight. And nine. Let's just do 10 of these guys. And then we'll go back to shoulders again. So we'll do one more of in the luggage wrap or medial lift from here. So elbows up to your side. Make sure that those weights are slightly forward. Pull the elbows up to your side and breathe. Don't grip your weights if you've got them, guys. Easy peasy hands. And four. And five. Or you're here. So stay there if you're there. That's it. Just watch for swinging. And eight. And nine. And ten. We're doing 12 of these guys still. And 11. And 12. Good. Now, while I've got you there, we're just going to walk the feet in. So I'm going to do, there's lots of different ways of doing this. And in, in my classes, we do that with the chest on the ball. So you could do that. Those of you who know that one, you know that one. And I'm going to hinge for it. And I'm going to do a little bit of, a little bit of posterior. So I'm going to lift and lower. Now, this one you've got to watch because don't look at me while you're doing this, guys. Look look forward and down 
and I'll try to cue you. Count, because you know that I'm not. And it's a little lift at the top. There's a little bit of softness in my elbows, but really watch for tension in the neck on this one. It gets, it gets tricky. If I was using the ball, I do it this way, and I lift this way. So, but it's still, there's still a lot, a fair amount of tension that can happen in the neck. So take a little break once you get to the 12, and you can either hang over at the ball if that's where you are, or sit up for a second, and we'll just do one more little itsy bitsy set of those. So if I'm on the ball, I'm here. And then here we go, softness from the elbows, a little lift, and a little lift. Good, keep looking down. Three, that's it, don't look at me. And four. And five, good. And six, good. Keep going, guys. And seven. And eight. And nine. And ten. Almost there. Eleven. And twelve, good. Drop your weights. Well, maybe not. We might have neighbors. And then just take a little stretch across the chest. And then we're just going to go into a little bit of biceps and triceps. And then I'm kind of ripping you off in that department. Timing. And then grab those weights one more time. And we'll do a little bit of biceps. So there's a billion thousand um, exercises we could do with biceps. But we'll just do something real simple for today. So easy grip on those weights, guys. Keep your elbows into your sides. Sit real tall. If you're standing, go ahead. Just watch for this, the gym thing. And four. And five. And six. Keep your elbows tucked into your side. Nice and long to the wrist. So don't, don't do this. Through the, through the wrist. And we'll do seven. And eight. Those of you who can take my class know that I like to do a lot of rotation when I'm working. But this one we're just going to keep it real simple for today. And eleven. And let's say that's twelve. Good. Now from there, we're going to go into a tricep press. So lots of different variations for this one, guys. I'm going to stand for this one. And then now I'm going to assume my position. And then from there, I'm just going to reach behind and back. So my elbow's going to be up to the ceiling. So anchor, use the elbow joint as your stable point, And then extend through the arms. Good. So you could be here. I could be here if I don't have a chair. I could sit down and do this. That's it. Then when you get to 12, guys, then we got to switch to the other side, just like that. And then switch your rooney to your other side. So whatever position you're going to get into, make sure it's a safe one. And then extend from the arm. Little trolls are pressed. That's it. Good. Make sure you can feel the back of the arm working, guys. That's it. No bigger arms. That's it. And we'll say that's six. I have no idea. And seven. And eight. That's it. Let's go two more. If that's where you are. You may end up looking like pausing moto guys <laughs> if you're not counting. So we're going to go down onto the floor. So make sure you have your weights because I'm going to combine a bridge with uh, doing some chest exercises. So make sure that you're. Uh, You've got a safe place to come down on. Lower yourself back down. And then have your weights ready to your into either side of your hand. So just start with the hip lifts first, guys. So make sure that your feet are about hip width apart, knees track up to the ceiling, and then just lift and lower. And then lift. Good. Squeeze your glutes. Use the hamstrings. And lift. Good. Now let's take the arms up and then open up into a small as you do that. So your elbows are soft, guys. That's it. Open to the side. Inhale. Exhale as you come back. That's it. The weights may not come to the floor. That's fine. Just walk through safety to the front of your shoulder. And lift. Uh -oh. That's it. And let's maybe do four more. And three. And two, now I want you to hold up. So hold the hips up on the next one, guys. Hold it there. Turn your palms so they face towards your knees. And then open and close. We're going to just stay up there. So squeeze your glutes, hamstrings, palms face towards your knees. And four, how are we doing? 
and five, hang in there, and six, and seven. Good. Are you breathing? Are you holding? Eight. Good. Last couple. Good. Now lower, roll to the spine this time, guys. So roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. So you're going to take the weights into one hand. Watch, this, is, this, is, um, this isn't the skull crusher one, but it could be. So be careful. So you've got your elbows a little bit bent, and then you're going to lift, whoopsie, whoopsie. That's it. Make sure you have the space behind you. You're going to come over your head and then pull back up. Good. So take an inhale and then pull your arms. So there's a little bit of softness into my elbows and I'm reaching up and over and come back and reach up and over and back. Good. And reach and pull. Pull over. That's what it's called. That's what it's doing. That's it. And pull. Good, let's do three more because who knows. And two. And last one. And then just bring the weights down by your side. And then just take the legs from side to side. So let's just take a little roll from side to side. That's it, good. And then just come back to your center, maybe draw your knees in towards your chest, take a little stretch, maybe your head comes up to meet your knees. And then we're just going to roll it back up, and then we'll just do a quick little bit of stretch, because apparently um, I'm used to teaching an hour class. So, just come on to some kind of, some kind of position there, guys. I am going to do some stretching in my next class, so if, you miss, if you're uh, staying for that one, you'll get some stretching through there. But just take your arms up to the ceiling. You might want to interlace. Just take a long stretch up. And then a little lateral stretch to the sides. So take a little reach up and over. And then lift up. Up and over, a little lateral stretch. That's it. And then hold it there. Just take a little tricep stretch to draw that elbow in. Pat yourself on the back. And then just switch side, a little tricep on the other side. And then just take your arms, interlace the hands around the back. Send the arms forward. And then just take a little reach behind, open up the chest and the shoulders. Take a little lift through your chest. I see Janice, she's on the phone. And then you'll just take the hands. I get, biceps are real hard to stretch, so I just do this one. Open and close the door. Open and close. That's it. We did a little bit of um, hamstring and a little bit of calf. And then just drop your ear towards your shoulder. And then back up through your center. Drop the ear to the shoulder and up the shoulder to your ear. And back and then just turn your head to the right or the left. And come back to your center and rotate. And back. And then just take a big inhale. And exhale. And an inhale. And exhale. Go one more time. And take an inhale. And exhale. Wrap your hands around you and give yourself a big hug. And go pat, 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 pat. Pat, pat. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will be back shortly. Thank you, guys. <laughs>